Good day, friends. It is me, AHL Mod Tech. And if you're looking behind me, that is the Tinkercad subreddit. Person had a question. Can we make that design? I've got some ideas. So let's get cracking. Really quickly, friends, if you haven't checked out the Tinkercad subreddit, it is a fantastic place to ask questions, get information, and share information as you're working with Tinkercad. I do also want to mention the Facebook groups Tinkering with Tinkercad and Tinkercad Worldwide User Group. These are both fantastic places to get questions and get help in a heartbeat. Back to this design, though. The person said, hey, can we make this in Tinkercad? Watch this, friends. All right, friends, so if it's your first time in Tinkercad, make sure you just sign in with Google. It's totally free, and it runs in a web browser. When you get in, I recommend renaming things. We're going to name this one Sweeping Text. And then, friends, there is a text tool right at the top of Tinkercad. I'm going to set that to the back, and instead of 10 millimeters thick, I want to make it 1 millimeter thick and press Enter. I'm going to click up here where it says text, and I'm going to type, let's go. There are other fonts, but I'm going to stay with this font for now. If you want to play with your colors, there are presets, or there are custom colors. Have fun. So friends, we want to change the snap grid to 0.25 millimeters. All right, friends, so with that grid adjusted, we're going to click on let's go, and we're going to do control D, and we're going to do control up arrow one, two, three clicks. So 0.75 millimeters. We're going to move out here to this rotation handle and we're going to rotate three degrees. Now make sure you don't touch anything else after you do that rotation because it just memorized it. And if we do control D again and again and again, you can see it stands up and makes the awesome let's go. That's how easy it is. Now the fun thing here is you can mess with these numbers and find different ways to make it but it is that simple. Once you've got your words the way you want, bring out a rectangle. I'm gonna make it 0.5 millimeters thick. I'm gonna use the black handle to just stretch it across as far as it would go. These black handles are awesome because they only move in one direction and it's real easy to get your design exactly the way you want. I do not recommend grouping these because they become complex, but you could print it right from there, easy peasy. Let's do it again with some other fancy fonts. If you go down to all shapes on page two, there is a script text. I'm a big Lions fan, so I'm gonna backspace, and I'm gonna type one pride. And of course, since I'm a Lions fan, I'm gonna make it blue. And then instead of these blues, I wanna make it a custom blue. These are just fun to play with. That's a great color for what I'm trying to do. Same technique. Same technique here. I'm going to make sure it's one millimeter thick. And then when we do control D, it is control up arrow. Pop, pop, pop. So that's 0.75 millimeters. This time, though, I'm going to move it back two clicks. I'm still going to rotate it three degrees. And watch this one. If we hold down control D, he sweeps back and makes a cool little arch. Now if you make these thinner, you can make those come together quicker so that they're a more smooth one, but it's also just fun to keep experimenting and find the exact style you want. Since I didn't group this, I'm just gonna steal this piece here with a Control D. I'm gonna use that Shift Nudge to move it forward. And let's get it in place so it would be ready for 3D printing. And that, my friends, is how easy it is to make sweeping text in Tinkercad. Now, because we're just playing on the screen, I can do cool things like make the front of that gray and the bottom blue. But uh, unless you have a two-color printer, it would be hard to pull that off. That is one nice thing about doing it this way, though. You could have separate pieces. So if you had a multicolor printer, you could have it end with a different style. Friends, once again... Don't forget these awesome groups. Jay, thank you so much for the question. This was super cool, and I can see how this project is going to be a ton of fun. Friends, don't forget if you make something awesome, you can use the collaborate button. You can generate a link, copy that link, and you can share it with me. You can find me at HLModTech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HLTankerCad. Lastly, friends, if you visit the HLModTech.com website, there is a TankerCad tab with all my cool projects. And at the very bottom, there is a messaging app so you can reach out to me almost instantly. 
And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.